Hey guys, welcome back to another YouTube video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to set up a RLCraft server for free without having to pay a dime. So first off, you're going to want to go to CurseForge. Just search it up in your browser, then just go here. Go to click CurseForge, go here. Also one more thing, if you guys want to like do this faster, you guys can just click the links in the description. Click install on this one, or you can click install on any of them. It'll bring this page up. If it does not show the download thing, then just click this or click this. But you're going to want to download this app because it's going to be make the, the it'll make uh, setting up the server significantly easier. Uh, some of the comments on my previous video were, can I do this with the Technic launcher or etc, etc. Um, I'm going to show you guys why I don't think you can, but I'm sure you could still make a server using a different method. So, next off, you're going to want to search up Aternos, uh, go here, and then just click play, but I already have the, basically, you click play, then it'll bring this up, um, if, if you're a first time user, then you're going to want to sign in and make an account, but I already have the, I'm already logged in, so it's not much of a deal, so I'm going to go here, then I already have a server set up, so, basically, it's, I'm gonna just say that you don't have it set up already, so you're gonna want to go to software. You could click here or here. It's not much of a deal. So go to software, go to mod packs, go to curse because I checked uh, the other ones. If if by some reason they update it right after I upload this video, then you could probably use a different launcher. But for right now, I'm pretty sure you can only use curse or like the Twitch launcher, which got taken down. But if you use like a different method, then I'm sure you could do a different launcher, but I prefer using Curse, so I guess use CurseForge. What you're going to want to do here is hit Control F. If you don't have Control F, it's not much of a deal. It's just going to make it easier finding RLCraft. So then once you find RLCraft, just click on it. Then click this button and it will install it real quick. Now that it's installed, we'll go to Server. Uh... The version will be like this, so you gotta make sure the like game version you're launching on your computer has to be the same. And I'd recommend doing this while you're uh, while you're waiting for the RL crafted while you're waiting for Curse Forge to download. So next, let's just now let's say that uh, Curse Forge just finished downloading. We'll go to Curse Forge. Just go to Browse Mod Packs. I already have it, but I'll show you guys how to find it. Browse mod packs. All you got to do is search up RLCraft in the little search bar. Uh, it'll cl you'll want to install it right here. Um, once you install it, it should be pretty simple and whatnot. Also, one more thing. I just remembered this. Uh, sorry about not mentioning this sooner. When you install um, the when you install the Curse Forge, you're gonna probably want to install it into your drive that has Minecraft with it. So you'll probably want to install it with Minecraft, not in a different drive. I only say this because, I mean, I haven't not done this, but I just really recommend doing it, just to be safe. I couldn't promise results if it doesn't work, but like, it will, you'll really want to do it. It won't take up too much storage because it, mine doesn't really do much. The most of these mods are like a couple megabytes, so you'll be fine. Go to my go to my mod packs. Uh, you're gonna want to launch it. It'll probably take like a minute to like set everything up. I have to update Minecraft because I haven't played it for a little while. Basically, it'll bring up this little page where um, instead of a uh, I haven't played Minecraft for a long time, which I've already explained. But you're going to need to log into Minecraft if you haven't already. Then it'll bring up a little page where you're... It'll like install a ton of mods. It'll look sketchy, but it's fine. I've done it like 20 times before. Um, so I'd recommend doing that. Then when your server's up, put your server IP in the multiplayer tab. And you'll be good to go. I'll show you guys a clip of me doing it right now so you guys could do it too. Alright, so now that you have the now you have your server up and it's online and you're ready to go, 
Um, this timer right here shows how much time you got until it closes itself for other users to go use their own server. So I'd recommend g getting in the server before the timer hits zero. So now that we're on the page, just go here. I'm pretty sure it's this one. Uh, go to that one. It'll log you in. Sometimes it'll take a bit. Also, one more thing. Um, if you have a little bit of trouble with Atronos, I'd recommend going there's help and support section, or you could just message me on youtube.com or something like that. Uh, more questions real quick. Um, I'd recommend using the Curse Forge launcher, like I've said earlier, because it's more reliable in my opinion. I can't promise you if it'll work on a different launcher. Feel free to look it up, but I'd recommend just using the Curse Forge launcher. It's not much more data or whatever. Uh, one more thing. if when you're, While you're playing, I'd recommend keep inventory on, because this game is a pain, and having keep inventory makes it slightly less. One last thing. Every, one more thing. Whenever someone dies, you have to turn it back on because it disables it right after. So just don't die too often. Um, let me just make sure that I got everything. So, uh, ads notes are probably going to be slow servers, but like once you've been using it for a while, it'll probably even out and the server will be all right. So yeah, I'd recommend just doing all those things that I've said. Feel free to not do it, but I'm just saying I'd recommend it. Uh, if you got any more questions, I'll make sure to at least try to answer them in the comments. Um, and if you guys want to have me check out your servers or something, or like join your server or whatever, I probably will. Um, DM me your server IP. My Discord tag's in the description, and hopefully this helped out some of you guys. And no, I am not suffocating anymore, because I know you guys were talking about that in the other video. Please, I'm not suffocating anymore. At least, I don't think I am. And well, if you guys need any more help, just message me on Discord, or send a comment. See ya.